yeah so good morning y'all um it's daylight right now and here let me turn the camera around so i can talk um unfortunately i didn't get much sleep last night which is unfortunate because i'm so tired but um i got something planned for us that's pretty special and i think you'll like it uh i'm so tired Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> In the summer of 2019, agents from the Department of Revenue arrested the owner of this funeral home on charges of tax evasions and operating without a license. She was told multiple times to get a proper license to operate, but she didn't listen and received multiple violations. The agents did state that the owner performed over 40 funerals illegally she owed over $100,000 in individual income tax and sales tax for over nine years. This led to the IRS attempting to garnish her bank account, and they did just that. But the money wasn't there. I discovered that she withdrew over $250,000 in cash, placing the money out of the government's reach. In response, an arrest warrant was filed, and agents showed up at the funeral home. But this wasn't the first time she was caught with her pants down. According to court records, the owner had been charged with tax evasions 10 years prior. In the earlier case, state officials accused the owner of not paying taxes for six years, dating back to the year 2000. In an unexpected turn of events, two years after agents arrested the owner, she suddenly passed away and her funeral was the last one conducted inside. Today, the funeral home remains abandoned and frozen in time. On today's exploration, we're embarking on a spine-tingling adventure to uncover the secrets of an abandoned funeral home that's left for dead. Once a place of solemn ceremonies and final farewells, this funeral home now stands as a haunting monument to the passage of time, and you wouldn't believe how many valuables are left inside. Cremations of the dead. Wait, cremated remains of Fred. Embalming equipment, photos from the past, and things I have yet to discover. Is that a real person's head? From the echoes of forgotten whispers to the lingering scent of aged wood and musty fabric, Every corner of this frozen relic holds a story waiting to be unearthed. We'll navigate through the remnants of a bygone era, piecing together the fragments of history that have been preserved within these walls. So prepare yourself for an exploration like no other as we venture deeper into the heart of the spectral sanctuary, pausing to ponder the lives and legacies that once passed through these hollowed corridors. So if you're ready to join me on this gripping journey through time, hit that subscribe button and join me as we delve into the mysterious allure of this funeral home frozen in the clutches of history. Let's unlock the secrets of the past and embark on a chilling odyssey together. Stay tuned and let's brave the unknown together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you inside. The name is Ranger Rick. My mission in this series is to go back to the past, dig it up, search for clues and stay curious. In each episode, I tell stories of abandoned places and their history. So come with me, let's explore together and see what we can find. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. 
go to www.patreon.com forward slash TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the Tier 1 package. For $5 a month in the Tier 2 package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Now enjoy the show. This is where I'm currently at. Let me show you real quick. But the thing is, we got to keep our voices down. We just, well, I just made it inside. An abandoned funeral home alone. And this place is so eerie. There's no power or anything. I already tried the switches and nothing's working. But there's a lot to see here. And uh, I want to take you on this journey upstairs. And let's see what we have downstairs too. You can tell I'm a bit nervous. Because <laughs> uh, this place will give you the heebie-jeebies. Trust me. Man, they got so much stuff left behind in this house. You would not even believe it. Like you have to be. Like the camera does not do this place justice at all. And look what I found. Here's something you don't see every day. It's a black angel. That is so cool. And you got a person's photo right here. I don't know who that is and I don't want to touch it. But it looks like a very old photo from like the 19... I want to say 1920s. Maybe 1910s. I don't know. Pre-World War I maybe? That's me right there, y'all. Wave hi to the camera. I swear, this is the last time I'm going to complain about the heat. But it is so dang hot down south when you explore. I don't think people understand how high it gets around here in the summertime, you know what I mean? Sorry if I keep looking around, but you got to in a place like this. Ooh, and I just found something else. This painting right here is actually worth about 200 bucks. That painting right there. Ain't that something? 200 bucks. I'm not going to tell you where I saw it for 200 bucks, but it's 200 bucks. It's cool. Actually, this right here and that right there and this. You got a sofa, a chair. I love that. It kind of looks like my old grandma's sofa. And this little love seat. I would say it's more like a settee. It's like a love seat, but a little bit smaller than a love seat. I think you ha that's how you pronounce it. Satay, settee. It's French. And you got, looks like a lab coat. I don't want to touch it. I really don't want to touch this thing. Look at this amazing place. Look at this. This is nuts. Who is that? Matthew Gilmore. He was a World War II veteran. Let's go back over here. I see some pictures and stuff over here. It looks pretty cool. Um, let's see. What is that? Y'all, what the hell is that? Is that a real person's head? What in the world is that? In the comments but I have no idea if that's a real person's head or not here's an, uh, an organ that does not work this must be maybe the owners I don't know or maybe friends all right let's take the uh, grand tour as you can tell a lot has been left behind in here I love that photo that's a cool looking photo And uh, this is what it kind of looks like heading back into the uh, lobby area. Very nice, very elegant, very homely, if that's even a word now. <laughs> it feels like, I guess what I'm trying to say is this, it feels like you're at home. Wait a minute, what's in here? Anything in here? You got a basement too. Danger from Alderhyde. I keep on hearing shit. Hold on. Let me go.
go up here first. Nobody in there. Let's let's lock this black door. Yeah, let's lock ourselves in. Just in case. Wait, what the hell? It doesn't even work. Wow, I am thoroughly impressed about this place. This place has everything you can imagine. Look at all of this. What is this? Is this a pug? That's a bulldog. This is ridiculous. Look at all this stuff. Oh my god. Here's some old photos. Can't even get back there, but look at that photo right there. It's been left behind as well. The reason why I came back to this spot is because I thought I heard something coming from that way. But let's check and make sure. There's nobody down here either. Hello? I bet you any money this is where the embalming table used to be. Because look. This is where all the embalming fluids are and everything. They even shaved your face right before they were about to embalm you. Which is kind of cool. Y'all, what does that mean? Hydrosol. Co-injection sanitizing chemical. Oh, it's a sanitizer. Oh, it stinks in here. I better get out of here. All right, y'all. This is the uh, moment we have all been waiting for. Let's check and see if there's anybody upstairs first. Always like to uh, shout out hello, just in case there anybody is up there before I start filming, you know what I mean? Hello? Hello, anybody up here? It's hot up here, god dang. Hello? Oh, thank god there's nobody here. It's hot in here, god. Look at all this stuff. Y'all write it down in the comments, but what the heck is that? Got some TVs in here. Christmas tree decorations. Look at that old school TV, huh? Hello. Just taking pictures. I swear it looks like somebody's still living here. Or maybe squatting in here. Ooh. I just found something interesting. Old lady gar garments. 
Wait, no, I'm sorry. I think that's for a lady, but this is for a guy. Oh, God, it's hot in here. Looks like we have more televisions up here. These people must have really liked TV, that's all I can tell you. What is in this chest? Nothing of interest. Hello? Anybody back here? Oof. This room is a mess. Anybody ever play paint kit with the watercolors when you were younger? Dude, look at that chair. Oh my god. I remember my grandma used to have one like something like that right there. And look what else I found. More cremains. Cremations of just that's probably I don't know if I really want to open this. Do I? Yeah, I don't out of respects, I don't think I'm gonna open that. But these are all people's ashes. That is terrible. How do you just leave all this stuff behind? Even this, this is like somebody's ashes right here. My curiosity's getting the best of me. I don't think I wanna open that though. I don't wanna open somebody's ashes. That's probably disrespectful. I don't know if it is or not, but yeah, this is ridiculous. Everybody's ashes is right here. Y'all look what I just found. It says right here, cremation, wait, cremated remains of Fred. Wow.